AMD has always been behind NVIDIA, far behind. Both make GPUs for gaming and AI, but the world chose Jensen Huang's NVIDIA, not Lisa Su's AMD. For years, AMD wasn't even seen as a real AI competitor. It was a small name in the background. But that might be changing. OpenAI, the biggest name in artificial intelligence, just signed a huge deal, not with NVIDIA, but with AMD. The full amount isn't public yet, but it's massive. Could this be the moment when NVIDIA finally faces real competition? Before we can answer that, we need to ask why was AMD so far behind in the first place? Both made GPUs, right? So why did everyone pick NVIDIA? The numbers tell the story. In the second quarter of 2025, NVIDIA held 94% of the GPU market. AMD? Just 6%. A year before, NVIDIA had 88%. So while AMD was slipping, NVIDIA's grip was getting stronger. It wasn't just about chip quality. NVIDIA built something AMD didn't have, a powerful software ecosystem that locked customers in. And it all started with one thing that changed the GPU industry forever, CUDA. To understand why AMD fell behind, we need to talk about CUDA, short for Compute Unified Device Architecture. It sounds complex, but this was NVIDIA's biggest advantage. AMD's GPUs were powerful, but the software support wasn't there. Their Radeon chips were used in some machine learning projects, yet they never had anything like CUDA. CUDA is an API that lets developers use NVIDIA GPUs for far more than graphics. With it, engineers and researchers could run code in languages like C++ or Python to speed up complex calculations. It made GPU computing simple and accessible, and NVIDIA launched it way back in 2007. That early start changed everything. Over time, CUDA became the default platform for anyone working in AI or scientific computing. It wasn't just that NVIDIA made good chips, they built a full ecosystem around them. Universities, startups, and big tech companies all trained their teams on CUDA. Once that happened, switching to AMD was almost impossible. Meanwhile, AMD was focused elsewhere, competing with Intel on CPUs and dominating console graphics. But NVIDIA had already moved on. In 2016, they openly declared in their annual report, deep learning breakthroughs have sparked the AI revolution. Progress is exponential. Years before ChatGPT or any large language models existed, NVIDIA had already bet everything on AI. While NVIDIA was betting on AI, AMD was still fighting Intel in the CPU market and building chips for gaming consoles. When the AI boom started, NVIDIA was already prepared. In 2016, they launched GPUs like the Tesla P100, built specifically for deep learning. By the time AI took off, researchers needed GPUs and NVIDIA had them ready. At first, AMD's revenue surged during the early AI rush. It jumped from $9.7 billion in 2020 to $23 billion in 2022. But the success didn't last. Profits told a different story. In 2021, AMD earned $3.7 billion, the highest in its history. The following year, profit dropped to $1.2 billion. By 2023, it fell again to only $600 million. Researchers had realized something. AMD wasn't the right choice for AI. NVIDIA's chips weren't just faster, they had years of software support and optimization behind them. CUDA had become the standard and AMD couldn't compete with that. AMD had invested in data centers and cloud computing, but not deeply in machine learning. As NVIDIA grew stronger, AMD's share kept shrinking. The company needed a major shift to survive, a bold move to close the massive gap and re-enter the AI race. To catch up, AMD made a bold move. In early 2022, it acquired Xilinx, a company known for FPGAs and adaptive computing chips. The deal was worth $49 billion, the largest chip acquisition in history. But AMD didn't have that kind of cash. Instead, it issued new shares, giving Xilinx shareholders millions of AMD stocks. That decision upset investors. AMD's profit soon plunged and confidence dropped sharply. 
Its share price, which had reached $143 at the end of 2021, fell to $84 by August 2022. Still, AMD kept pushing forward. On October 10, 2023, it acquired Nod.ai, an open-source AI software provider. The price wasn't disclosed, but the goal was clear. AMD wanted to challenge NVIDIA directly. It was betting everything on AI, hoping these new technologies could close the gap. Even by 2025, though, AMD was still losing ground. NVIDIA's lead seemed unbreakable, and CUDA's dominance was stronger than ever. The question remained, could AMD ever catch up, or would it always stay in NVIDIA's shadow? That answer would depend on AMD's next generation of AI chips designed to take the fight directly to NVIDIA's best hardware. For the very first time, MI300X. AMD's answer to NVIDIA arrived with the MI300 series. We truly designed this product for generative AI. It combines CDNA3 with an industry-leading 192 gigabytes of HBM3 that delivers 5.2 terabytes per second of memory bandwidth. GPUs built specifically for artificial intelligence workloads. The flagship MI300X was designed to outperform NVIDIA's H100 in several key areas. It offered better memory capacity and stronger AI inference capabilities. The MI300X had a memory bandwidth of 5.3 terabytes per second, around 60% higher than the H100. In large language model tasks, AMD also achieved roughly 40% lower latency. These improvements meant one thing, better performance at lower cost. AMD focused heavily on cost per token, a key measure for AI efficiency. At smaller batch sizes, AMD's GPUs were cheaper. In mid-range operations, NVIDIA held a slight edge. But at large-scale workloads, AMD's MI300X won again, delivering lower cost and higher throughput. This difference mattered for companies like OpenAI, which process millions of AI queries every day. Using AMD chips could let them train models faster or serve more users for less money. For AMD, this was the chance to finally re-enter the AI race and prove it could compete. The company poured billions into new chips, new architectures and acquisitions to strengthen its position. The market waited to see if all this investment would finally pay off. Expectations for the MI300 series were sky high. Analysts predicted it could generate around $8 billion in sales. But soon those forecasts were cut to $5 billion. When the 2024 results arrived, AMD reported $5 billion from its Instinct Accelerator division. That number included the MI300X, but also other Instinct products. The excitement quickly faded. Investors and analysts were not impressed. HSBC analyst Frank Lee said, We now believe AMD's AI GPU roadmap is less competitive than we previously thought. The problem wasn't the hardware, it was the software. AMD's ROCM platform, though open source and flexible, still couldn't match NVIDIA's CUDA. ROCM worked well with existing systems, but CUDA was easier to install, better documented and familiar to developers. Many companies stayed with what they knew. Even with AMD's lower prices and strong hardware, adoption remained slow. Lisa Su pushed hard to catch up with NVIDIA, but investor expectations were unrealistic. One analyst summed it up. AMD has built a $4 billion AI business from nothing in a year, but investors still want more. The MI300X, once seen as AMD's comeback weapon, was turning into another footnote. Yet AMD didn't stop. Something was about to change, and it would come from an unexpected partner. NVIDIA's near total control of the GPU market brought new problems. With 94% share, supply became tight. The H100 and even the older H200 were constantly sold out, and customers faced long waiting times. Jensen Huang denied shortages, but his own comments hinted otherwise. Many AI companies began to feel trapped, too dependent on NVIDIA. Then came a turning point. In late 2024, cloud provider Voltra announced a partnership with AMD. 
they would offer MI300X GPUs on their public cloud, giving developers a place to test and deploy AMD's newest architecture. Adoption had always been AMD's biggest problem, and Vultra's move gave them exposure to thousands of developers for the first time. But the real breakthrough arrived months later. On 12 June 2025, at AMD's Advancing AI event, the company revealed its next-generation Instinct MI350 series and hinted at future MI400 and MI450 models. The key detail, OpenAI was helping design the new architecture. AMD executive Forrest Norod said, OpenAI has given us a lot of feedback that heavily informed our design. Soon after, the announcement everyone had been waiting for arrived. OpenAI's next-generation AI infrastructure would run on AMD Instinct GPUs, beginning with the MI450 in the second half of 2026. The agreement could be worth up to $100 billion. OpenAI's choice shocked the industry and sent AMD stock up more than 70% in days. For the first time in years, AMD looked ready to challenge NVIDIA's dominance. The OpenAI deal was massive, but it came with risk. As part of the agreement, AMD issued OpenAI a warrant for up to 160 million AMD shares, which would vest as specific milestones were reached. That meant OpenAI could eventually own up to 10% of AMD, depending on how many GPUs were deployed. This raised eyebrows across the industry. Jensen Wang commented, It's imaginative and surprising. I'm shocked they'd give away 10% of the company before they'd even built the product. Clever, I guess. The F MI400 series isn't ready yet, and AMD is betting heavily on it. If the plan fails, the cost could be enormous. But after years of trailing NVIDIA, AMD had little choice but to take risks. It needed bold moves to break into an industry dominated by one company. Hardware-wise, AMD is closing the gap, but its software, ROCKM, still lags behind CUDA. For the OpenAI partnership to succeed, ROCKM must perform flawlessly at scale. If it doesn't, AMD's comeback could stall before it begins. For now, the industry waits. OpenAI's bet on AMD could reshape the GPU market, or end as another missed opportunity. Time will decide whether this underdog's bold gamble becomes its greatest victory or its final mistake.